Hello and welcome to your daily news and information update. Today's topic, the great bank robbery of 2009. A Democratic president and Democratic Congress have overseen and authorized perhaps one of the largest spending programs in the history of this nation. The Obama stimulus plan, coupled with a continuation of the Bush administration's financial bailouts, will add perhaps $3 trillion to the, nation, to the national debt in the next few years. This could officially put President Obama in line with former President Bush as the biggest deficit hogs in American history. However, in this case, the end game is not the proverbial bottom line. The programs now being overseen by a largely Democrat-led government could make or break that party's historical legacy for this point in time. If the plans succeed, they will be heralded as economic heroes, perhaps pushing the Republicans even further onto the fringes of, poli of the political scene. If the plans fail, the Democrats will have no one to blame but themselves, and the American people will likely be happy to cast the first stones. As it stands right now, the prospects for the future look quite bleak. The government has given more than $1 trillion to banks, insurers, mortgage lenders, and investment firms in the past year. They have seen almost no appreciable returns on that investment. And all of the investment capital used to fund these programs was forcibly taken from the pockets of every living American, despite the fact that the public at large was categorically against the plan from the beginning. Right now, the bailouts and stimuli, both the, both the Bush and Obama packages, look to be nothing more than massive wealth transfers from the taxpayers to the banks. The super rich were allowed to keep their jobs and in many cases still collect hefty bonuses while the government suggested that they shore up their costs by slashing their workforce. The Senate recently killed a bill which was said to provide bankruptcy protections for struggling families. At the same time, the House of Representatives put forth legislation that tap dances around the issue of corporate mismanagement and financial abuses. Our government, to its very core, has become unshakably entrenched in the Wall Street mindset. Every politician looks to New York for economic advice, and in doing so promotes the very ideologies which undermined this economy and brought the world's largest and most proud banking center, New York City, to its knees. The people already know that this country needs to find a new and better direction if it ever hopes to succeed economically. We need our politicians to realize that fact as well. We must change course and pursue actions that help the entire economy, instead of shoring up share prices on stock indices around the country. We do not want to look back on this time in history a decade from now and universally recognize it as the great bank robbery of 2009. On behalf of Concerned Citizens, I'm Craig Harrington. For more on this and other related topics, please log on to economyincrisis.org. What is to become of us? Why are we oblivious? Spiraling down and out of control. Better start yelling out. America is selling out. Factories, industries, heart and soul.